What up? All right, so I'm gonna start doing a better job of documenting some of the shit I do on a regular basis. Uh, just got done doing about 40 minutes of AM cardio. Normally, I blend my breakfast. Oats, protein powder, sometimes peanut butter, uh, natural peanut butter, or I grab a, a handful of almonds or whatever. But today, um, I had some time this morning and just got done doing my 40 minutes of cardio and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my oats. I'm sit down and eat it. So I'm doing about a cup of oatmeal and shreds, protein isolate, Cinnabon. That usually satisfies my sugar cravings. But anyhow, so one scoop is 23 grams of protein. I'm adding two today. And then almonds. Um, I'm using these roasted almonds. Raw almonds are cool too, um, but I like roasted because it just gives a better flavor. That's it for today's breakfast. I'm gonna do about 30 uh, grams of almonds. Two scoops of protein powder at 23 grams per scoop, so it's 46 grams of protein there, and one cup of oats and coffee. She had breakfast too. She doing, dog? Uh, so we're at the mall, and uh, I really wasn't planning on going to the mall, but today, if you on my Instagram, I was wearing a nice little. Uh, black North Face jacket because it's like 29 degrees outside. Now I don't have it. Let me help you out. Now I don't have it because when I went to the gym, I hung it on the coat rack and some shady, no good, jacket thieving. Uh, yeah, I can't even think of any more adjectives. You trying to keep it clean? I'm I see. To keep it going, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was it, it, it was it's rude, man. It's rude because it's. I went in there with the jacket. It's 29 degrees outside. And he took my jacket. So, aside from coming to the mall and having to get another jacket, I had to leave without a jacket. That's that's pretty. That's pretty shitty. That's a shitty individual. Anyways, um, yeah, I had that coat for two weeks. I really liked it too. Damn. So now somebody else is sporting it, but, um, you know. I'm gonna chalk it up to one. Well, it's karma, so it's gonna come back around. But two, I'm gonna chalk it up to maybe this dude really, really needed a coat mm. this winter, mm. and that now he's being provided for with that coat. I disagree with how he what how, how he earned the coat, or got the coat, but it would have been, you know, I, if he would ask me, if he would ask me, and he looked like he really needed a coat, I probably would have gave it to him. Yeah, man. So see, I have no coat on. Probably the only idiot walking around with no coat. <laughs> it's like 29 degrees. So it's almost like this one. The mom is black with no hood. This is gray with a hood. I mean, it's gonna look funny with the outfit I'm wearing. I'm wearing sweats. This is extra large. You gotta be kidding me. Let's look for a 3X. This is no way. This is XL. I don't think you're getting in that, bro. You break you by too. <laughs> Let me see. Wow, I like the color. What size is that though? It's a large. It's a large. Stuff that got into it. I think I'm about to get out of it. Yeah, this is a cool jacket. You do a rear lat spread. That thing's done for. Nah. Oh. <laughs> He's a little. How'd you he should have went one size up? Like the kids and feel out. <laughs> <laughs> I panic a little bit. I don't know if I like those or not. No Eddie Bauer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to look all out, outdoorsy in my style. Okay. Can I get that? That was fast. Boom. Done. Yeah. Now I think I might treat myself to a pair of shoes because I handle this very well. Oh. I'm gonna treat myself to some shoes. I think if we can get over the foot off, foot off, the foot action, whatever, because uh, I got ten minutes. Thank you. Excited, huh? Not before you. Excited right now. As excited as I could be about having to buy another coat two weeks later because someone stole my coat. That's how excited I am. I just want to stay warm though. That's all. Oh, it snaps. It works. You like them, Troy? Oh yeah. I gotta lace them up properly, but this. I see. It. Does it work? So you came to get a jacket and you buying shoes. The shoes was for the stressful day of someone stealing my jacket. It's called retail therapy, Jonathan. Look into it. I wonder how many times you said stolen or steal jacket in this vlog. I don't know, but we can go back because it's all recorded and we can post all of it. Good day. 
bro. Styling and profiling. Jack, jack, jack and his shoes. Jack and his shoes, my. See, so this is the issue, right? There's a fucking handle right there. All right, so if they wanted you to push this open, you, sh you shouldn't have a handle. Handle means pull on, right? Like, if there's a handle, I'm gonna pull on it. They, they set us up a failure. They did. They're probably laughing on camera right now. Push it over. You don't need a handle for that. <laughs> we almost threw my shoulder out of spin. Man, we're gonna go to Qdoba because I'm still dieting. I don't know about you. Have you been on your stuff, man? I have been. You said, I see you. I see your videos. So, uh, yeah, this is fun. Uh, I'm sorry, but this place is way better than Chipotle. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I think the, the ingredients are fresher. Uh, they don't put as much sodium in it, which means the quality of the product's a little better. Alright, so do you have the queso? Any pets? Any <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no queso. I'll just go straight for the pico, please. And then the, uh, the hot sauce. Not the hot hot. The just, just the hot. Yeah. Gotcha. She knew what I meant. But you know what? That, that's girl talk. You know what girl talk is? What's that? So girl talk is like, this is from when I went back in high school and college. So we're like, uh, a girl asked another girl, if they say, say she went on the first date with some dude, and her friend would be like, what's your name? Desi. Desi? Desi? She's like, Desi, how's your date? She's like, oh, that's cool. Do you like him? Do you like him like him? So if like, you ask like, twice, like, yeah, exactly. That's girl talk. Like them, so like them. Hot. I don't want the hot hot, I just want the hot. She knew exactly which one I was talking about. This is easy. I'm tired as hell. We're tired. Let me see this real quick. I can't stress you. I'm gonna look at myself. Can't flip it down. I already flips up. Don't look at it while you're talking. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, be weird. I, just, I, I just wanna see. Alright, let's flip it back down. Alright, right, so tell us why you decided to start, do a YouTube channel now. Because you told me to. Uh, uh, I obviously, outside influences, you being one of them, and a couple other people that uh, mentioned the YouTube deal, that and plus a lot of people on Instagram. But it, it wasn't it wasn't the right time. I mean, now it might not be the right time, but at least I feel like I have uh, a bit of content and a bit of uh, knowledge to share. And then not just that, I also have, uh, seven years ago I wasn't comfortable being in front of the camera. It took me a while to get in front of the camera and take still shots. Then it took a few more years after that, four more, four, five more years after that, to get comfortable looking into a camera lens and talking. It's just weird. Which most people are like that. Most people don't like looking into the camera lens and talking. You know what I mean? So, um, even now, like, that's not the most comfortable thing to do. But I don't mind it anymore. So, um, but, you know, after winning Worlds three times, that's not like an easy feat. That's not something that everybody's done. So, in a sense, I feel like I do have something, some type of knowledge to share with people. So, uh, uh, yeah, I do think it's time. It's, and, uh, not, so it's not just that. Also, I don't, I don't care as much. I don't care what people think about me as much as I did five, six years ago also. You know what I mean? So, like, when I first started, I was like, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say this. I don't want to seem, I don't want to feel stupid, uh, step on toes, but now that I'm older, don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like the granddad of fitness. <laughs> you know I mean? Like, my granddad didn't, didn't do shit. He would fart in public, don't care, embarrass himself for me, or he would like stare at people that he thought was weird, and then like, he'd act like they couldn't see him, and he can only stare at them. That was awkward as hell. Yeah, old people just, they don't care. They don't care about whatever. They live life, they don't give a shit. You know, they'll wear a cardigan, and it'd be like 95 degree weather with like 45, 45% humidity, and they just don't give a shit. So, um, not that I don't give a shit, but I feel more confident in who I am, and I don't really care what people think of me personally. Yeah. I mean, they really don't, they don't, I mean, the ones that, I feel like the ones that people that follow me, feel like they have a good sense of who I am, yeah. and that's where my, my, my followers, I think, that, that, I think, that, I think, that, I think it's kind of crazy though, because. I think at first glance people would think that you 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 wouldn't have that issue because you seem you always seem like such a super confident person. You know what I'm saying? So that, that just seems. No, nah, that's just the way my face is set up. Man. <laughs> I used to get in trouble in school because my face was set up a certain way. I looked like I was doing some shit that I was supposed to be doing. Serious I just stuff. I looked like that. I yeah. looked like I was doing something wrong. Like, you know, like I stole something or like I got in trouble. I just look like that, and I get in trouble for that. So I just have a face that looks like I'm not confident. Cool it's crazy because you just said something about stole again. And that takes it back to your <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back to your jacket. 
Yeah, because my jacket got stolen. <laughs> I just wanted you to say it again. <laughs> so anyways, uh, now nah, about the confidence thing. Um, it seems like that, but then the, the fitness world is all, it's full of, full of people who look confident or act confident and they're really not. Like, yeah. We are some of the most insecure people in the world. Whoa. Yeah. I say we, I put myself in the You too. did, I heard but, that. But that's the only because I'm older and I know better. I'm not going to say you all. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but yeah, me too, man. There's a lot of insecurities. That's another reason why I didn't want to be in front of the camera. You know? Um, yeah. You, you put yourself in a vulnerable spot when you let everybody look at you uh, and have eyes on you. Like, but I think getting on that stage and competing year after year, seven years, prepares you for that a little bit. Yeah. Because I'm getting, I'm, I'm willingly, openly, I'm in my damn underwear pretty much, going on stage and getting judged by seven or eight judges in front of me and the crowd that's there and whoever else is watching a live feed from Facebook or whatever. It's a lot of, that's a lot of eyes on you. Man. That's like, that's what a lot of people's nightmares is like, is like getting pushed out on stage like half naked. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, it kind of helps prepare me a little bit for getting judged and everybody wants to give their unsolicited uh, advice or judgment and they have no point of yeah. reference to, to, to judge. They I got just, They're like armchair fitness people and they, and they judge. They, they just say something. I got something to say like I think it's crazy because even when you won Worlds uh, you posted which, that. Which, which time? That was funny. The, the third time. When you well, well, wanted it was one of the pictures it was one of the pictures you posted and somebody said something about your quads. Like you won. <laughs> and they said No, I posted a picture that after yeah, you after, posted. Yeah, the dude, he, I remember exactly what he said because I laughed because it was it was about me and it sucked, but it was pretty funny how he worded it. He said that he said I had um, some of the most unfortunate quads. He's a unfortunate quad insertion points he's ever seen. So now, so what, what did that make me do? I clicked on his little thumbnail, his little app, this little, 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 little thumbnail pic, and it wasn't a picture of anyone. It's usually like a picture of like an animal, like a like a stallion, or like a backdrop of like uh, uh, some cornfields or buildings, whatever. You couldn't see who it was, right? And then the, the, the profile is private. So comments usually come from people like that. But yeah. Anyhow, uh, so I wanted, because you know what I wanted, I want to see what the fuck his quads look like. Yeah. If I had the most unfortunate, unfortunate quads he's ever seen. But that's that goes back to what you're saying. You gotta, but you gotta put yourself out there like that. Yeah, but, but so, okay. So my point is, well, I won worlds three times. I'm not saying that to be all cocky like I won worlds, but that's that's a fact. I'm, I'm stating a fact. And even with my unfortunate insertion points in my quads, I managed to I managed to win worlds three times. So you can't take what those people say because they're not judges. He's, I don't even think that dude's not even a bodybuilder or a fitness a, a fitness competitor. He's just a dude that just he probably does taxes or, or works at IKEA or something like that's 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 if, you know or he works at Lowe's. So he probably knows a lot about lumber. You know, mm. you know like just, and you stick to what you know. And you let everybody else do what they they got to do. So if I were to take that as personal or that as as something that I thought was like, well, it is a little, it is a little true. I'm not gonna lie, because that's one thing I've been working on. But with my jacked up knees the way they are, I'm still working to make that better every year. And my legs have come up. Here. So it's all about, and everybody has weaknesses and in different um, um, balance, um, body balance issues, in differences in, uh, in, in muscles, from left to right, front to back, top to bottom. So the whole goal for me is to come back each year more and more balanced. But yeah, so he had a good point. Um, my legs could be better. Yeah, true. But if I took those kind of like those critics that don't matter, uh, I would never. I would never get on stage. I would never get on stage. Never compete. So I would. I'm never. You never feel ready. You never feel 100 percent ready. But anyhow, it, it's getting those kind of comments now just doesn't doesn't phase me. It really doesn't, doesn't matter. It probably would have my first year competing. I actually did. I'd get uh, dogged out from my legs and uh, my shoulders, believe it or not. So, and those are the two things I brought up quite a bit since then. So I think I just, you, know, you just, you just got to turn that into fuel and uh, do something about it until they shut up. There you go. Yeah. All right, so you go ahead and wrap it up in the night. Yeah, man. 
so we just I got my jacket uh -huh. finally so I'm back to you know yeah, everything in the world is is in order now. All the stars are aligned. Our belly's full. We used to be hungry after eating keto which is dope man. Funny man, that black bean rice chicken, you can't go wrong with that. Good. Yeah. So that and I got some new shoes. Yeah, I got this new red to, to cope with my the stress I had earlier today. So I'm like eat my I'm not gonna eat my feet candy or cakes all over. Buy me some shoes. That's productive because I'm gonna actually use those shoes to work out. To squat tomorrow. Oh my right? god. You see what I'm saying? So I flipped it. I flipped it. I took uh, something negative, turned it into a positive. Yeah, there you go. All right? Yeah. I mean I guess I could have ate a bunch of linear layer cookies or something like that. I'm not sponsored by them, I don't even know why I said their names. How did you board? <laughs> My Instagram is at <laughs> HGL. No, I'm kidding. Um, I could have ate yeah, a bunch of cookies and then said I was card loading for squat day tomorrow too. But whatever, man. I decided to go with the shoes instead because I'm, I'm trying to. Sh I'm getting shredded. There you go.